We reviewed the Easterbreeze i1500. If you want to see the full review on this, go to my YouTube channel, Domestic Wind Turbine Reviews. Good piece of equipment, made in uh, Turkey, possibly Bulgaria. High quality pieces of equipment, carbon fiber blades, 1.1 meter in length. Uh, only does about half of the manufacturer's output for the rated wind speed, but still a respectable piece of equipment. Right, we then reviewed this Chinese uh, S3 uh, generator. Uh, yes, I know, I've heard in all the comments, you're quite right. Uh, you know, from a mechanical point of view, from a mathematical point of view, this is never going to perform the same as this piece of equipment here. However, the manufacturer stated in their output that this would give the same power for the same wind speed. So all I was doing is proving that actually everything that you see on an AliExpress specifications is probably nonsense. So don't buy these small Chinese wind turbines. However, perhaps to the rescue of the Chinese wind turbine honor is this piece of equipment. This is a, uh, a, a manufacturer called Smarad, S-M-A-R-A-A-D, -A, a respectable Chinese wind turbine, uh, environmental uh, equipment producer. Still the same rating as this, although it's got the M3 motor, which should be slightly better. Uh, the, uh, the blade length is about uh, 75 centimeters, so quite comparable. Uh, the, wind, the wind swept area is about the same, just a little bit under, I can see. Let's test this and let's see how this gets on up on the mast. Very breezy day today, so plenty of different wind speeds to test the new Smarad. It doesn't look like it's very turning very fast there, but it's absolutely belting around. Let's go and have a look at what the wind and then the power output is. So the wind speed we're getting today is actually a bit higher than the previous test. Uh, we're averaging about 10 uh, meters per second. It's quite high. The good news is this turbine is doing pretty well. It's doing between two to 300 watts. Uh, at that 10 meters per second. So uh, let's go and check that out against the Instabreeze. So back to the Instabreeze graph. At 10 meters per second, uh, we were getting around about 600 watts. So it's running, let's say, half the output of the Instabreeze i1500. So what are some of my initial thoughts on the Smarad 24 volt 2 kilowatt wind turbine? Well, we've already seen. It's not bad. 300 watts, 10 meters per second. It is about half the output for the same wind speed of the Easterbreeze i1500, but that's still a respectable performance. It's also a bit noisier. Uh, you can hear it from quite some distance away, so that's something to consider. I will be doing a review on my YouTube channel over the next few weeks, looking at a much more extensive range of wind speeds to give it a full test. But I think right now what I could say is at lower wind speeds, it doesn't cut in as early as the manufacturer states. They say it starts producing at about three meters per second. It doesn't. It starts producing about five. And there's a slower ramp up. But it is a three-bladed uh, wind turbine, which is, is producing better output at higher wind speeds versus the Easterbreeze, which I have, which was a five-blade. So maybe I should swap and put a five-blade on this and see, see how that improves at lower wind speeds. We can do that on the YouTube channel. Not a bad turbine. Not my choice, I'd get something else, but something to consider.